G'day guys, M Tintam here, and today in this Octane Render tutorial, we'll be learning how to import and navigate around your scene. Now, this reflects on my second tutorial on which preset you choose, which is the following. This tutorial will be um, showing you how to do the, the default, which is Octane Render movement settings, but if you are going to choose Maya, Blender, or any of these, then um then I suggest you skip this tutorial since you already know how to move around. Alright, so, um, imports in, so, um, so, uh, importing um, how do you import your OBJ file that you want to work on? It's very simple actually. Alright, so you gotta right click <coughs> in the uh, graph editor so right click Add, just hover your mouse over it, and then go to objects. Once um you've once your mouse is over objects, you press smash. Now, um go to the <coughs> folder on which your OBJ is saved in. So in my case, I'm doing import and navigation. Select your OBJ file and press open. Now, um. It'll go through a series of algorithms to load up your OBJ, such as parsing and voxelizing. This will, the speed of that will depend on how big your OBJ uh, model is. Um, so that could vary from, I don't know, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and the longest that's the longest, the longest one I've ever dealt with was a two million polygon scene, which was that took about 30 seconds to parse and voxelize. But um, yeah. So um, once your OBJ is in the graph editor, you click on it, and it should start um, rendering out. It should pop up in your render viewport. Now, um, once you've uh, once it's appeared in the viewport, you press Control and use your scroll wheel to scroll out, so you can have a better, better picture. So I'm pressing Control. I'm holding Control and I'm zooming. And this is moving around your viewport. Now, leaving control on and using your left mouse button, you can pan your viewport around, zoom out, pan around, zoom out, and pan around. And you can go right up to the pixel, see the pixels, and zoom out. And if you are, let's just say it's over here, and you're like right out, all you have to do is um, press this red button. It will align your viewport, and just press Control and zoom back in. Press the button again, and um, yeah. So that's panning and moving around your viewport. So now, how do you move around the geometry in your 3D viewport? Well, you press if you're using the Octane Render default. Um, key set. The left mouse button is for rotating around your scene. Now currently the rotation origin set is set around here. So I'm rotating around that centered origin. Now to pan around your 3D scene is right click, right click. I'm panning around the scene at the moment. So using the left and right mouse button, I am panning around and moving and rotating around. Now, to zoom in, you use your um, middle mouse button which is your scroll so if you scroll scroll in scroll out and you're zooming or you can press the scroll and move and just drag your mouse and you have a much more smoother smoother zooming zooming in and zooming out so if you use all of those together you can get some pretty dynamic angle shots here 
very fluid. And very basic. Okay, so, now, um, you can also, if you have a really huge scene and you just, you're in a rush, just press shift, um, and use your, the controls, such as rotating, and it's much more faster, extremely faster, much more sensitive, as you can see here, zooming in is much more faster. And yeah, and that's while pressing shift. So shift mouse, shift left middle click, shift right click, shift scroll. Okay, so now let's just say that you've pretty much changed. So the moment you've opened your OBJ model up, you had a certain camera view viewpoint. To get back to that, all you have to do is press this button reset camera view to default and it will open up to your default view on which you opened up your OBJ model. Now make your own custom centered origin to rotate around with you press there's a certain button for it. This button is over here it's called enable disable camera zoom picking mode. So let's just say I want to rotate around this you click on it and rotate around. So I'm rotating around that centered model. If I want to rotate around this corner here, press it. And I'm rotating around that centered area. And if I click here, rotating around the monkey, click here, I'm rotating around that area. And um, just get, if you want to click back, just press um, the AF icon to go back to default. And yeah. So um, that is pretty much the basics of navigating, importing around your scene. Next up, we will be um, going through um, basic texturing, what are we going on next? Uh, no, atmosphere. Oh wait, atmosphere. Yeah, I might do texturing first. Um, so yeah, basic texturing in Octane Render. Thank you.